Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Man 25 online game. Today, we got the New Orleans Saints and the New England Patriots. This is a week six matchup in the NFL between two of the top teams. And you see Breeze go down there. Breeze, it looks like he got in. It looks like he got killed there, but he's back for the next play like nothing ever happened. So it's all good. We're going to roll like nothing happened. We're throwing to Jimmy Graham. We want to get Jimmy Graham in the game as much as possible because... Dude, it's just a flat-out monster. And the Saints, they've just been monsters this season. Breeze and the offense, they're doing their usual thing. The big thing for them this season is the defense. So look at this pass by Drew Breeze real quick. Right in between there, and then Josh Morgan's able to get him for the touchdown. I put Morgan in because he's a fast guy. Got like 95 speed or something like that. I don't really remember. But um, he's a, he's like one of the, I think he's the fastest guy on the um Saints roster. So we got him in to make some stuff happen. And yeah, the Saints defense is what's really keeping them up undefeated so far this season. I don't think they've allowed much points. I think they're like like one of the top five defense points allowed. They're just playing really good. Defense and line's playing good. Um so yeah that's the Saints. And then the Patriots they were also playing really good but they lost last week in Cincinnati and Tom Brady's streak of 52 consecutive games with a touchdown pass ended. Two games shy of Drew Brees' all time record of 54 straight games with a touchdown pass. So Brady of course he's missing Gronk. Though he does have Gronk in this game. Um, Gronk is not playing in the actual game as far as I know. And he's in this one. But Gronk's going to get injured on this play. He just had a lot of time in the pocket there. No pass rush came through. Only sent three people. So you don't really expect too much to happen. And eventually, Brady finds somebody. And one thing I realized about these Patriots is they will find the open creases. Like, these guys just find the right play. They're like all Wes Welker like people that will just find the open creases. Alan Dola, Edelman, Gronkowski before he got injured. They'll all find the open areas behind the zones that on some teams, like the receivers have no idea where the hell they're going. So eventually, you know, he got some makeshift plays to happen, breaking out and got the touchdown there. And this is a subscriber game, so that's that and Hopefully we can score. He's scoring his first drive. We scored in our first drive, and it's up to us to keep the scoring going right now. Of course, we got Breeze, so that's no problem. Hand it off to Lance Moore here. A little drag route. Dump it down. Third down and one. It looked like he might be on it, but he played it a little bit too far out, and we're able to get the first down. Next play, throwing the flea flicker deep for Jimmy Graham, but it's almost intercepted by, I believe, Adrian Wilson back there. Bringing up another third down, and this time, Breeze, ooh, man. I'm telling you, some the elite quarterbacks in this game, you can tell the difference between an elite quarterback and a Darren Sproles. Okay, not exactly a Darren Sproles, but you can tell the difference between a Drew Brees and a Brandon Whedon. Now, as you guys know, I don't exactly play with like people like Brees or Manning or Rodgers or Brady a lot. I usually play with, I mix it up with every team possible. So, I'll spend a lot of games playing with the likes of Jake Locker, the likes of Christian Ponder. But when you play with people like Brees and they put passes on point like that one to Colson on third down, it just feels perfect man and there Brady put a great pass in there for I believe Edelman but Edelman cannot hang on after we hit the strip button there next play that's just a flat out drop by Edelman second down wide open third down he goes back to the out route and gets it this time third time's a charm down. actually that might have been Almondola that dropped it actually I'm not sure but all I know is Almondola is the one that came down with that third down conversion Chiefs to drive and live I scored in my first two drives now he's going to continue to try to keep the scoring pace going then we get a nice hit there before he can throw it bringing up third down Tom Brady the Finds a tight end. I'm not sure what tight end this is. Um, it's Mulligan. I, I was hoping it wasn't the guy whose name starts with an H. I can't even pronounce his name for my life. <laughs> you know? So, he gets it to Mulligan there. Gets the first down. We're getting... We're slowly... We're not exactly getting pressure. We're just playing good coverage. And this time, we mix it up. Bring the blitz in. When he comes down to five wide. Wasn't exactly expecting it. Nobody came open. Takes a sack. And then on third down, Chris Carr almost gets the interception. But nonetheless, it is fourth down and very long. So, he punts the ball. We're cool with that. We're going to try to get a return here. Darren Sproul. But um, running backward in Madden 25 is not like running backward in Madden 13 or any other Madden because the stamina will just kill you and eventually you will get tackled for a loss. So don't do as I do not do as I say not as I do. Okay, that happens a lot. And there's one thing you have to know about my channel is that motto do as I say not as I do. And here, this is something you might want to do just. Drew Brees. I'm not sure if other quarterbacks might have been able to fit that one in. Talib might have been able to get a swat on that ball, get a hand on that one. But Brees would just put it in the breadbasket, hit Colson in stride. And he's just having a masterful game right now. Throwing it over the defender there. I'm not sure. I think he might have had Brandon Spikes there. Threw it right over him. Hit Ben Watson for the first down. Next play, Brees throwing it up for Jimmy Graham. And Graham gets behind the coverage. Blew the coverage with the safety there. Um, I think it's Adrian, Adrian Wilson. And Jimmy Graham gets the touchdown. And we're up 21-7. And I'm feeling pretty good about the way we're playing this game defensively as a fumble goes out of bounds there. You know I don't 
I don't get fumbles. I don't recover them. None of that stuff happens on my side. And we drop a pick right there. That's pretty unfortunate. Chris Carter. It was a behind-the-back one, so it would have been a really hard interception to get. But nonetheless, I mean, it's... Like I said, I was, like I was trying to say before the fumble happened, I like the way we're playing defense in this game. All his passes are pretty much coming from broken plays when people are just, like, breaking containment and stuff like that. And here, second down eight, he does get... And whatever passes he do get, does that does get that's normal is drag routes and stuff like that. That's all he's getting, drag, slants. There he tried to do a quick pass, but the defender didn't really notice what was happening. Hit his noggin there. It's all good. It's still a drop pass or whatever. Still second down and whatever. And now it's third down and eight because somehow Brady got that pass off, but it wasn't a first down. Though here's Tom Brady rolling out the pocket, and once again, the containment breaks down, but... Oh, no, he does hang on to it, and he gets the touchdown. Malcolm Jenkins, I believe, tried to put on the hit, and instead the receiver catches it for the touchdown. And that's one thing about these Patriots. Guys, those guys like Almondola and Edelman, they have some pretty good catch in traffic. I played with them a few times, and they, they could catch some balls. Like you throw, them, like throw it up for them, they'll catch it somehow. And there we hit Marcus Colson there. Good gain across the middle of the field, trying to get a two-minute drive going. Though the wide receiver screen, first of all, the wide receiver screen to Colson is not a great idea. And then the fact that it just got locked down didn't help anything. Brings up a second down and long, kind of dooms this drive. Though we take a deep shot for Colson, and man, Breeze is killing it right now. Breeze is absolutely killing it, putting it right on point. I used it to catch with Colson, probably helped that out. And now we're at the, like, near the goal line here, at the seven-yard line here. Second down and four, though there's not that much time left, but look at Breeze, 11 passes in a row, absolutely torching the defense. Though, um, we might not be able to get a touchdown here. No timeouts left, third down three, gonna try to run it in for a touchdown, but we could not get in barely. And now I'm gonna call hurry up here, gotta call hurry up. And this is going to be the last play to drive. Because look at the clock. This is going to be the last play. If I don't get it, I'm not getting any points. I got to get in the end zone this time. Bring down all our blitz. So we throw it to Joe Sproles. Touchdown. Oh, man. Took my breath there. Because that was really scary. <laughs> and um, Sproles was opening the flats. And we got the touchdown. And now you see my week six predictions. I put week five there by accident. I'll fix that. Actually, I probably won't since I mentioned it. I'll leave week five there so I don't look like an idiot. And it's really week six. But you see some of the stuff. I think the um I think the Saints could win this game. But it could really go either way because the Foxborough home advantage Foxborough home advantage, it could bring something. Brady might be able to turn it around. That defense it could be stingy, but at the same time, no Vince Wilfork might be troubling for them. But then again, the Saints don't run the ball that much. So we'll see. It, it can really go either way that game. It'll be fun to watch. Um we got the Bengals over the Bills. That game, I think I think the Bills might be able to hang in. They've been pretty good at home. Even though it's no EJ Manuel, that Lewis might be able to keep them in the game because the um, Bengals haven't really been a high-scoring offense this year. As he throws the interception, pressure in his face, he just throws it up for Adam, or Amandol or Adam. They all hit the same person. And nonetheless, Jabbar Greer is the one that comes down with it, and that's all I really care about. And um, what the Almondola or Edelman, one of those two twins, tackled him there. Or else we might have taken that for a touchdown. Here the flea flicker trying to take a shot for Marcus Colston, couldn't get to go. But the Sunday night game, I think the um, Cowboys could pull it out. And here I'm just taking a deep shot for Graham. Not a great idea, but I just figured an unranked game, try it out. Didn't work. Oh, well, move on. And, um, yeah, the Cowboys, I got them over the Redskins, but RG3 is undefeated in his career against the Redskins, so we'll see what's up. But, I mean, RG3, he's a pretty good primetime player, man. He, when, when the lights come on, that's when he shines. If you guys remember that Thanksgiving game when he lit up the Redskins in that first half. And then I got the Colts winning against the Chargers. I like the Chargers, but for some reason, they're not a good primetime team. They don't win again in the primetime, so I don't know. I like the Colts in that situation. And then on the Texans, I got them rebounding and... This dude's not rebounding at all. He's throwing another interception. This time, the Kurt is lofting, and we just completely got him in a box right now. But, um, yeah, I got the Texans winning over the Rams. I don't think Schaub's going to throw a pick six this game. I mean, I could be wrong. I also would have not predicted him throwing an interception, a pick six in the 49ers game to do it four times in a row. But, man, with Schaub, anything is possible nowadays. Anything is possible as we give it to Bre um, Graham once again. The Brees to Graham connection is killing it. Six receptions for 84 yards. Next play, one throw it to Graham again, but he had it covered. So we throw it a curl route there to Lance Moore. And once again, Drew Brees, pinpoint accuracy, man. These Saints, a lot of people don't look at the Saints as like a dominant Madden team, but Drew Brees is a beast, man. I love playing with Drew Brees in this game, all right? There might not be a funner quarterback to play with in this game besides Drew Brees. He just, I don't know. Everything about him is just on damn point. And here, we get another interception, and he's completely in a box. So, uh, more NFL games. Why not? Um, Baltimore and the Packers. Packers, I don't know. 
and here Jimmy Graham is exposed over the defense, gets a 93-yard touchdown. But the Packers have no Clay Matthews. I think the um, Baltimore um, defensive pass rush could probably bother Aaron Rodgers, Terrell Suggs, Doomerville, Nada. They could probably wreak some havoc on that iffy offensive line for the um, Packers. I don't know how much Rodgers is going to be able to do. And I'm um, probably going to have to rely on the run game against the Packers to try to win that. I'm not sure how much Flacco could do in the air. And, oh, man, that would have been my pick. My pick would be a guy behind me's pick if Stone Hands didn't jump us. We, there was three people there for the pick, but um, 50 decided he was going to take it, take the gory, and he screwed it up. Bringing up third down, and somehow, some way, this actually gets completed. Only in Madden. And um, I got the lines over the Browns. Um, I don't think the Brandon Whedon era is going to be too great as... This drive, this is just a miraculous drive for him right now. And I got the Chiefs staying undefeated against the Raiders. Terrell Pryor makes magic happen. He's definitely a fun guy to watch. But the Chiefs at home, and I don't know how much they'll be able to score, but the Raiders' defense isn't exactly, like, scary. So I think the Chiefs could pull this one out. Their defense could probably rattle Pryor. They could probably just play man coverage on them and just lock them up on defense, and that's that. And then, um... You gotta pick the Vikings over the Panthers because there's no way Adrian Peterson doesn't rush for like 500 yards. Like, there's no way he doesn't do it. Peterson's gonna break the NFL rushing record and like truck somebody, truck the whole team, get five touchdowns, kill it on fantasy. Okay, maybe not. Maybe maybe he might get stopped because the Panthers have an above average run defense. At least I think so. But, um, and I'm, I'm trying to look at Jimmy Graham there, but I didn't want to take the deep shot. And I saw Colston get open, but Colston went to a one-hand catch animation, which was really weird. Didn't expect that. And then um, I got the Phillies over to MRSA Buccaneers. Or oh, I should say the Eagles, not the Phillies. But I got them nonetheless. I think they could pull it out. I think Foles could still win the game, even though Vic is done. And I got the Jets going to 4-2. and two. I basically got the favorites in this week. I basically picked all the favorites to win, except for maybe the Ravens over the Packers. That might be a toss-up. I don't know. But... I mean, I think the Jets could do it at home. And by the way, look at this fourth down and one stop. Quarterback sneak? Nope. Fly in there with Malcolm Jenkins and stuff that. But yeah, the Jets go in the four and two. And, you know, anything is possible. Anything is possible possible in the Rex Ryan era. And I also got the Seahawks winning against Ryan Fitzpatrick. They got the crowd on their side and the fact that Ryan Fitzpatrick is playing on their side. So, um... And then I got the Niners being the Cardinals. Might be a close game because the Cardinals might be able to hang in. But the Niners defense ultimately, ultimately should be able to win the game for them. But the Cardinals defense is a pretty stingy defense. And they should be able to keep the cards in the game for a while. So that's all the wrap up I can do. Because I might have covered all the games. But besides that, the video is coming to a close. I don't know what the hell this guy was doing. He just left his controller. I don't really know what. So I sent him a message. I'm like, if you're going to act like that, just quit the game. Don't waste my time. But nonetheless, the game does end. So hope you guys liked the video. Leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Madden 25 online games like this. And I will catch you guys next time.